research are you involved in? Um, and like, what do you all do? Okay, so. cool. um, my name is Ashley. I'm a junior here at Loyola studying communication studies and anthropology. The organization that I have been working with is called the Center for the Human Rights of Children. We are a center of excellence here at Loyola, which means we're an accredited nonprofit, but we operate within the university and we're funded by the university. A lot of our work consists of advising other people and other institutions. So we represent the university's efforts to protect and advance the rights of children. Last year, our director traveled to Geneva in Switzerland to advise the subcommittee on the rights of the child and create a protocol and advisory plan for how to support and advance children's rights on a global level. But our work isn't just global. We work a lot in the communities here in Rogers Park. Last semester, we did a drive and event series that supported and kind of brought some attention here on campus to the Rohingya Culture Center. We just wanted to connect with a local organization whose mission overlaps and intersects with our own. That way we could bring attention to some really important issues and violations of human rights. One of the projects that we're currently working on is called Proactively Addressing Substandard Housing which looks at Chicago laws that have been racist and classist in their design and have segregated a lot of communities into living in really dangerous environments. To me, social justice means knowing what you bring to the table and how to support others based off of your own identities. It's about acknowledging injustices and knowing your role in those injustices and the identities that we all hold that contribute to toxic systems that are hurting people. Also understanding the things that I'm doing or the things that I'm inherently doing that are toxic. So it's about addressing in the workplace all of the privileged identities that we all hold and making sure that we're going in a really relativistic direction with our work and not applying white savior complex ideals to the work that we do, but rather just standing as a resource for anyone to use and not interjecting ourselves in spaces where we may not be welcomed or we may not be needed or we may not be wanted. Immigration is really important to me and I've been able to learn a lot about the things that we aren't doing to support immigrant communities in the U.S., especially undocumented immigrants. Last year, when a lot of like policies started to change around DACA, we were really scrambling because our center does all it can to support individuals who have DACA and individuals who don't have DACA. I didn't know that much about how DACA worked and as I learned more I realized it was really important for me to understand what I can do to support individuals because things are changing. We started putting together like Know Your Rights workshops and free advising appointments downtown so individuals could come anonymously and express their fears or their concerns with accredited lawyers. In my experience, I've noticed that a lot of nonprofits kind of dive into a community and tell them this is what they need, but I think it's important to step back and see what a community is asking us to do and then just support that because I think it can get really problematic really quickly when someone goes in and dictates the community, telling them that this is what's best for you, this is what's best for you, but in like the realm of children's rights, I mean, we have to see what kids are experiencing locally and globally and make sure that we're supporting children and children's rights and families in a way that isn't going to put them in further danger. My goal for the future would be to just understand how to do that in the most effective way possible. Alright, thank you so much. That was great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>